video pujari and i am an educator on an academy you can follow me on an academy learning app where you will find my other courses as well so this lesson is on relative stability related to bod and this is a part of characteristics of sewage course that i am conducting now so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you Hello friends welcome to an academy and my 11th lesson on relative stability by Sharyu Pujari of the course which is on characteristics of sewage so about me i have completed my mtech in environmental science and technology i have completed my b in civil engineering i have 2 years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link so if you follow me you will get notified every time i publish a new lesson or new course on this platform as well as this is my profile on an academy learning app where you will find my other courses as well so which uh, my courses till now are on environmental engineering uh, syllabus which is for gate exam for civil engineers right so also do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons because it is very important for me as an educator on this platform on an academy right so also share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends before going to this relative stability part of bod let me tell you that before this lesson we have seen some lessons which are on bod and that you need to refer before going to this lesson so if you uh, refer that lessons or do carefully go through that lessons then you will understand this part very easily and you will have no doubts about it so uh, for this relative stability is a part of bod and which is a important part of the characteristics of sewage that i have explained previously so let's see what is the definition of relative stability or relative density right so the ratio of amount of oxygen available in the effluent that is do to the total oxygen required to satisfy the first stage bod demand so what is the first stage bod demand and what is bod that i have explained in my lesson which is on bod right so let us uh, remind that so a uh, bod is the biochemical oxygen demand right so it is a uh, bod is defined as the amount of oxygen demanded by the microorganisms to to decompose biodegradable organic matter under aerobic conditions so this is the definition of bod so generally within 5 days microorganisms consumes around 60 to 70% of organic matter so what does a microorganism do so microorganism first decomposes the carbonaceous uh, uh, biodegradable and then nitrogenous uh, biodegradable right so that i have shown in my bod uh, graph right so first stage bod and second stage bod ultimate bod Uh, so ultimate bod is l not and yt is the bod met in given time right so that all i have explained in bod graph in that lesson so first stage bod is the carbonaceous matter get oxidized that is carbonaceous demand so that first stage um, bod is shown in the graph so please do refer that lesson before going to this lesson so now what is relative stability so it is the ratio of amount of oxygen available in the effluent to the total oxygen required to satisfy the first stage bod demand so this ratio you need to need to remember right so generally it uh, uh, becomes the ratio like yt upon l not where yt is the bod met in given time and l not is ultimate bod so yt upon l not into 100 will give us relative stability so if we put yt's formula that is l not uh, in bracket 1 minus e raised to minus k t and if we take a uh, bod for 20 degree celsius so putting the k formula for 20 degree celsius and if we evaluate or if we solve that we'll get this formula for relative stability so relative stability formula is equal to 100 into 1 minus 0.794 raised to t your t uh, temperature is for 20 degree celsius as i explained if we solve that we'll get this formula for relative stability is uh 
we can denote it by s uh, capital s and small r so r is for relative s for is stability so relative stability formula which is important for solving any problem asked on relative stability in gate exam then we can solve by this formula and to repeat that s r is equal to 100 in bracket 1 minus 0.794 raised to small t that t is the time small t is time and capital t is for temperature right so this is the formula so let's see one example on relative stability so the question is in a test conducted for determining the uh, relative conductivity at 20 degrees celsius the period of incubation is found to be 12 days calculate the percentage of relative stability right so the time is given as 12 days so the formula we know sr is equal to 100 into 1 minus 0.794 raised to t so here 100 will be uh, so here formula will be or the uh, putting the values we get 100 into 1 minus 0.794 raised to 12 because t is given as 12 putting the t here we get the percentage at 93.72 percent so this is our relative stability you can cross check right so next question uh, or mcq which can be asked on relative stability it can be of this type so the question is the relative stability of a sewage sample whose do equals the total oxygen required to satisfy it is its bod is so right friends for this you need to know the definition of the relative stability or the ratio so the it is the ratio between the amount of oxygen available in the effluent to the total oxygen required to satisfy the first stage BOD demand. From that, if uh, the, both the uh, values are equal, then it the relative stability which they are asking will be obviously will be 100%, right? So the correct option for this question is option C. So next question is the percentage ratio of the oxygen available in sewage to the oxygen required to uh, satisfy the uh, first stage or one stage of biochemical oxygen demand is termed as so it is generally termed as relative stability. So option C is the correct option for this question. So in this way we uh, the any question asked on relative stability for BOD. Uh, we can easily solve by the relative stability formula that we have seen and this type of MCQs can be asked on relative stability. So I think I have covered population equivalent and relative stability by now then in next uh, lesson we will see BOD in detail and then we will see TOD and THOD right and then we will solve some MCQs and that will be the end of this course which is on characteristics of sewage. So friends thank you for watching and do follow me so that you will get notified every time i publish a new lesson or new course on this platform also do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel and please do comment so that i will know whatever your doubts are and it will be easy for me to help you more in this type so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons thank you